Now is the best opportunity you're going to get if you thought about transferring stocks from Robinhood to Webull. Hey, my name is Ryan McGregor, and by the time you leave this video, you'll know with complete confidence how to transfer stocks, options, and other assets from Robinhood to Webull for completely free. We're going to walk step-by-step step through the transfer process, including any transfer minimums you need to be aware of, the types of assets that you can and can transfer, and most importantly of all, how to do all of this for completely free. If you're here after watching any of my other Webull videos, welcome back, nice to see you again and let's jump into the transfer process. All right, so the first step that you wanna take in the transfer process is to make sure you sign up for Webull, but not only that, make sure that you have an open and approved account. The reason why I say this is probably the best opportunity you're going to get for transferring to Webull is because currently when you open a new account and deposit just one cent into that account, Webull's gonna give you a free six to 12 shares of stock worth a minimum guaranteed value of $34 up to a potential $30,600, which is some insane value. So if you've thought about transferring in the past, now's the best time. The link in the comment section and description below will take you directly to the signup page where you can take advantage of those free shares of stock. That said, let's jump into the Webull app on my iPhone and I'll show you how to actually initiate the transfer process. Once you're inside the Webull app and your account is open and approved, what you wanna do is head to your portfolio tab, which you're gonna access by clicking the button in the middle. You'll then need to enter your trading passcode. Once you're here, head over to the transfers tab and you'll see the option to transfer stocks into Webull. Click that. And then you'll have a list of brokerages to choose from or you can search yours. We're going to click Robinhood right here. And then you'll be met with some requirements that you need to agree to. First, the name on the Robinhood account and Webull account must be the exact same or the transfer will fail. Second, you need to be transferring a minimum of $500 worth of assets. So that includes stocks, cash and other transferable assets, which we'll cover more of in a second here. And the third requirement is that you need to have a minimum cash balance of $75. This does apply especially to Robinhood because Robinhood does charge a $75 outgoing transfer fee. And I'll explain exactly how to get that fee completely reimbursed in a second here. So stay tuned. Once you're confident you meet all three of these requirements, click accept and continue. Next, you'll need to provide Webull with your full nine digit Robinhood account number. We can easily find this in the Robinhood app. So let's hop on over there. Once you've logged in, hit the profile tab, click the menu icon in the top left corner, scroll all the way down and you'll see right above the logout button, your full nine digit number. So memorize this, hop between apps or write it down because you'll need to enter that number on Webull. Once you provide Webull with your full Robinhood account number, you can choose between a full or partial transfer. A full transfer, when complete, automatically closes your Robinhood account. Now, a partial transfer means you could just transfer your stocks and cash over or leave cash over there and transfer stocks. With a partial transfer, you can't transfer options. So if you won't really want to transfer options out of Robinhood, you would need to go with a full transfer. For this example, we're going to go through with a full transfer. So I'm going to make sure that's selected. Then you'll need to answer a few questions, starting out with some options questions. So first of all, uh, do you have any options in your Robinhood account? Now, if you do, you need to make sure those are not expiring in the next two weeks or if they are, you need to close them out before submitting a transfer request because if you submit the request anyways, it's gonna get rejected. So if you are transferring options that expire in longer than two weeks, you need to make sure that you're approved for the same level of options trading on Webull that you are on Robinhood. This is really important because if not, your options may forcibly be liquidated during the transfer process and I'm sure you don't want that to happen. If you are transferring option contracts and you select yes, you'll need to answer a few more questions about the types of options that you're transferring. Before this example, we're gonna click no and move on. The next question is, do you have any crypto in your Robinhood account? Currently, you can't transfer cryptocurrency, so what you need to do is either liquidate that crypto over in Robinhood, transfer it as cash, or what you can do is initiate a partial transfer and leave that crypto over there, but transfer your stocks and cash over to Webull. And lastly, are you holding any warrants, units, or rights in your Robinhood account? For the vast majority of you, this answer is going to be no. If you're not sure what this is, the answer is gonna be no, because if you did have any of these in your Robinhood account, you would know. Once you've answered all of those questions, hit submit stock transfer request, and then it will go under review. Now it typically takes about seven business days for the process to complete. 
During this time, don't mess around with your Robinhood account and make trades. Now that you know how to successfully submit a transfer request, Let's talk about one of the most important things, and that's how to do all of this for completely free. Now, Robinhood does charge a $75 outgoing transfer fee, but like most brokerages, if you just reach out and ask them, they'll reimburse this for you. It does work a little bit different with Webull though. Instead of having you reach out and ask, they have an account transfer bonus, which is kind of just a rebranded way of saying, hey, we'll reimburse this fee for you. So the bonus is they'll deposit $100 into your account after you transfer at least $2,000 worth of assets into Webull. Technically, you're still gonna earn a $25 bonus if you meet those transfer requirements, but even better than that, if you open a new Webull brokerage account and deposit as little as one cent, you're going to earn a minimum value of $59 with the potential to earn up to $30,625 depending on the number of free shares that you earn and the value of those shares. Thank you for watching and as always make sure to leave any questions or comments down below or shoot me a DM on Instagram at Ryan McGregor with two R's at the end. I posted a ton of Weeble videos on my channel with a lot more to come so you really don't want to miss out on any of those if you're pretty new to the Weibo platform.